So I woke up this morning uh, feeling pretty nauseated and not very good. Couldn't eat really in the beginning of the day. Uh, finally I could get a couple peanut butter pretzels down and then I had a bar. I think it might have been the straw that broke the uh, camel's back in terms of my trail burnout. <laughs> I think I, I've been handle I've been doing good. I've been doing well. I've been handling it a lot better than the PCT, but you know, when you love something so much that you want to go to it for four months, you can really run the risk of uh, damaging your love for that thing. I want to finish, and I know it's important to me, so I'm going to. But um, it's hard for me. Yeah, it's hard. inside a cloud. Really, I'm not that crazy about this. Because there is just thunder around some of the other ridges. Uh, this is not where you want to be in a storm. So I'm trying to move through this area as quickly as possible. It's pretty cool though. Very eerie. Feeling. I feel a lot better today, by the way. I slept very well. I no longer feel sick. And uh, I thought a lot about through hiking and, you know, reasons why and what I want to get out of this last part. And maybe I'll talk about that later when I'm not trying to outrun a storm. But yeah, I do feel better today. wild blueberries now this could be a serious pace killer but I'm not complaining because they are delicious hey bear <laughs> why would you go to the grocery store and pay $3.99 for a pint of blueberries when you could just go hiking So I almost forgot to say what my thoughts were and why I ended up feeling better about the trail and everything. And it's pretty simple. I think I've landed upon the secret to uh, getting through the last few weeks of the through hike. And the secret is just to enjoy it. My goal uh, for the rest of the trail is when I get to two days before the finish, I want to wish that I had two weeks left. I don't want to be counting down the days. I want to take my time and remember the reasons that I came out here to begin with, which is just to be outside, to live in the mountains, and to learn about myself. So 
So I'm just getting into the Anaconda Pentler Wilderness, about uh, 50 miles or so out of Darby, and it's pretty nice so far. I've heard some really good things about this section, so I have some expectations. I try not to have expectations, but this section is supposed to be good, so we'll see if it lives up. Um, I had an unplanned zero day in Darby, which is fine, I guess. Uh, just kind of hung out and ate a lot of food, and now I feel very rested and ready to take on this section and ready to make it to Canada. So it's been a little bit cold and, well not cold, cool. It's been a little bit cool and damp. Um, which has me wondering if summer is on its way out early. I mean there is of course a silver lining because it, this kind of weather is not good for fire growth. So um, shouldn't have really too many problems with fire. But you know, it feels like summer has just arrived and now it's leaving. Uh, that's the CDT for you, I guess. 